Hi, my name is Darius from Team Solo Mid, and this is my solo lane tactics guide to Nar vs Darius. From levels 1 to 2, your early game is really rough as Nar no matter who you're playing against. So you just want to farm and trade with your procs and just try to survive. From level 1 to 2 for Darius, he generally starts Q, but if he's against Nar, he'll go E next. Every time you get into range of him, he's going to E, auto attack you, and then Q. This will take you down to half HP, but you should just run away and sustain. From levels 3 to 4, the game gets slightly easy for you because you now have your E to jump away. This still doesn't mean that you're strong enough to fight Darius, but just farming from a distance with Q and then auto attacking and trading the third procs on W is should generally be fine. Every time you build up enough rage, you'll get some health back from Mega Nar when he reverts to Mini Nar, and you can gank around this time, but it's preferred not to. From levels 5 to 6, if you haven't died into the lane yet, that means you're doing pretty good. If you're only behind 10 CS, that's also very good. At level 5, your Q starts doing more damage, and when you, you're nearing towards 6, you can ask for jungler ganks on your Mega Nar. Ganking for Nar in Mega Nar form at level 6 is very powerful because you can CC enemy top laners or junglers for around 3 to 4 seconds. This will allow you to win the fight depending on how healthy you are and this is when you're going to slowly ramp up to getting your level 7 to 9 power spike. For playstyle on Nar, once you get out of laning phase it becomes a lot easier to do things. You just run around throwing cues everywhere and harassing and building up your Mega Nar. Make sure to not build up Mega Nar too fast at certain timings before Dragon. Um, a good timing to make your Mega Nar go up is around 50 to 1 minute. So when you proc it, your tired will be off and then you want to build at least to like 20 to 50% and then run to the dragon. The same applies to roams when you want to roam on any other lane. Building up just enough rage to make it proc before you start doing things is very ideal. But sometimes you can't really control it when you have to push out. And sometimes you'll have to like give up farm to do things. You can decide for yourself, but making the best judgment on this is very difficult and is why Nar is a very difficult champion. In team fights, you want to flash R and try to stun as many enemies you can and follow up with W. This will allow your team to, you know, follow up on your engage and you know eventually win the fights. For runes on Nar, you generally want to go enough AD and reds t until it's 5.6 and then the rest attack speed. Also you want to go attack speed quints, flat armor yellows or armor per le level yellows since uh, it doesn't actually matter if you have flat armor or not. And then for blues you want to go CDR per level. The reasoning for this is later on in the game when you're around level 9 and your CDR goes up, your Q does a lot of sustainable damage since you can throw it out like every 3 seconds. For masteries on Nar, you would generally want to go 921 or 1515, but honestly, since you're playing against Darius, no matter what you do, he's going to beat you early game. So for the best payout, you should go 219. For skill order on Nar, it's really a rough call early on. If you're double jungling, you want to start W and then Q, but the problem is you won't have E to run away when Darius hits level 3. So sometimes it might be better to start Q and then double jungle and then go E second as you go into lane so you can at least farm. But then you run into the problem of, of not doing enough damage to Darius if you get a gank, so it's all really, really uh, different. But standardly, you want to go Q and W and pray that they don't capitalize on the level 1 to 2. And if they do, you want to hit them enough and then try to sustain and try to live. For item build on Nar, you want to rush Black Cleaver. After Black Cleaver, you can get Ninja Tabai or Dead Man's Plate. Dead Man's Plate is a really good item on Nar because when you don't auto attack, you can just constantly run around and throw your Qs. And then when you're chasing someone down, you slow them on the first auto and you slow them with your, your Qs. Another core item on Nar is Spirit Visage. This gives you 10% CDR, but since you have CDR per level, you should go 
Banshee's Veil instead. Another good item on Nar against a lot of ADs is Randuin's, Thornmail, and even GA at later points of the game, although you don't want to build it early. Thanks for watching my solo lane tactics guide to Nar vs Darius. Be sure to check out the rest of my guides at lowclass.com. It's important to play selfish, but you can be the engager by flash-eing. It's not very common.